Hey guys, and welcome to another Gunpla TV review. This time we are looking at the Gundam Anima Rize. This is from the series Gundam Build Diver Rize, and this is a spin off series of the Gundam Build Divers and Gundam Build Divers Re Rise series. From what I understand, this is a manga only, but there is a QR code on the box just like the other kits in the Re Rise series. Uh, so if you scan this, it actually just brings you to the Gundam Build Divers Re-Rise YouTube page. I believe there was a quick cameo of this unit in the series, but for the most part, this is just from the manga. So stepping back a second, let's take a look at the runners we get in this kit. You get nine runners, uh, 10 if you include the poly caps, and a sheet of stickers. You get eight stickers in total. There are four for the arms, two for the head cameras, the eyes and one for the gun. Some of the pieces here are brand new for this kit, especially for the armors. But you also see a lot of pieces here from the original planet system armors. You also get a runner for the jet docking system for the armor that you would have seen in the planet system two armors. The polycaps are about the same as you would see in any of these core Gundam kits as well. There are a ton of pieces here you don't even use, at least on paper. I will get back to that in a second though. So let's look at what you get fully completed first. So first you have your core Gundam or your Gundam Anima Rize if you have the armors on. You have two beam weapons, one that's more shaped like a whip and one that's a blade. You also get a core spray gun just like all the other core Gundams and an adapter to turn it into a regular beam rifle. So that's what you get on paper, but if you look at the runners, you will notice that there are a ton of pieces you don't use here. Uh, for example, the only piece that you're supposed to use from the jet stand is the additional hand. But if you wanted to, you can pop out all these pieces and you can actually put the armor onto this jet stand. I actually tried, so it actually looks really nice. It doesn't say anything about this in the manual, but you can do it. In addition, since you're using the Planet System 1 runners, there's only a handful of pieces here that you're supposed to use when building the kit. The rest of them here just sit there, but Bandai decided to make the armor pieces here clear. So as an added bonus, I guess, if you really wanted to, you can pop these out and you can make your own custom clear planet system armor if you wanted to. I kind of tried that here. Uh, I didn't have enough of the pieces because the leg units and the arm units need some additional pieces from another kit to be com fully completed. But it does look quite nice. So if you have a couple other kits laying around and you kind of wanted to Put them together or if you just wanted to take the additional pieces needed from the anima rize armor you can definitely do that so first we have the core gundam one this is exactly the same as the core gundam one from gundam build divers re-rise aside from the head the head is exactly the same shape but the face and the v-fin are different the face is a different style and the v-fin is smaller however again you do have these pieces left over in the kit if you decided you wanted to just make it a completely red faced core gundam one if you've ever bought any of the other core gundam one units you know exactly how the articulation is if you've not the Head articulation is great. It turns 360 degrees and moves on a double joint for the neck. The arms are also on an, a ball joint with a shoulder joint that can slide in and out for when you are a planet system armors. The arm can rotate 360 degrees and there is a double joint for the elbows. In addition, you also have a good range of movement in the wrists. The waist also rotates 360 degrees. You have a good range of motion on the hips both side to side and swiveling forward and back. And you also have good articulation on the legs. When it's in the core Gundam mode, this kind of serves as a single jointed shin and upper leg. But when it's attached to the armors, it kind of becomes a double joint. The feet also have a nice range of motion and can slide back to be attached to armors. You also get a single beam hilt this time in the back. It's a larger hilt than the uh, core Gundam 1 or core Gundam 2 units. Uh, so it's a two-hander sword this time. The place where the, the hilt rests also swivels up and down. Assembly of the Gundam Anima Rize is really easy. You just take your core Gundam and attach the leg portions to the core Gundam's feet. You push the feet back and kind of snap it in place. There are also armor pieces that attach to the forearms to make them longer. 
In addition, you also have shoulder pieces and chest pieces here. Uh, I like these because they're two separate colors this time. Usually they're only one big slab of one same color. You also get skirt armor pieces for the front and back and a backpack armor. And lastly, the V fin. This armor looks really nice. There's a lot of color separation here and the stickers look really cool behind this smoky, semi-transparent black. This kind of reminds me of what the Alice Core Gundam did too with the helmet. So you can kind of see the sticker shining through the armor at certain angles. I'm not sure how well it picks up in the camera here, but it looks really nice. And the design of the symbols kind of reminds me of Beast Wars. So I'm not sure if that's something they were going for, but I do like that design. So with the large hilt that you get this time, you can either attach the large green beam saber to make a sword, or you can attach the beam whip. Uh, so both of them have a really nice effect to them, and you can make some really cool poses with them. In addition, you also get the core beam spray gun, and you just attach the adapter to make a large beam rifle. Again, if you've ever had any of these core Gundam units, you know exactly how the posing is here. The posing is a little bit nicer on the ankles on this kit because there's really nothing in the way of moving them left and right. So for this kit, you can make some really dramatic action poses that you couldn't with some of the more stiff armors from the Planet System series. And if that wasn't enough and you wanted more for your core Gundam, also released is the Onrize Armor. This is an additional backpack that you can buy separately. It kind of has a design that looks like it can stand alone on its own. It kind of reminds me of uh, an Akagai or something like that. There's not too many pieces here, but uh, you also get a black stand with this one. You do not get a stand with the regular Gundam Anima Rize kit. So that's a nice bonus too. And uh, so this kit you can attach to the back of the core Gundam and there's two different modes you can make. You can either make it the uh, power mode or the speed mode. So depending on which mode you use, you can either have the pieces attached to the arms or the legs in addition to the back. There's an additional piece here that you attach to the head. Uh, this can be rotated either down or up depending on which mode you're using. I only just spotted this now. So if there's a discrepancy in the video, sorry about that. I think this looks really nice and it works with all the core Gundams. In addition, there's some three millimeter pegs on the long barrels that you can use to attach effects parts like these ones here from the Aegis Knight. The only thing to be careful with is the orientation of the stand. If you have these pieces sticking out, your kit will fall over. So overall, this is a really nice kit. So if you are a fan of the core Gundam and you are looking for more core Gundam accessories, you can't go wrong here. You can use this with your original core Gundam or core Gundam 2, and I believe also the Alice core Gundam. So if you have any of these kits, you can mix and match as you'd like. In addition, the unmentioned bonuses like the clear parts and the jet are also welcome. And the own Rize armor is a really nice bonus too if you are looking for some more accessories. Overall, this is a pretty simple build. I want to say it took me probably three hours total for both kits. Nothing too complicated here, especially if you've ever done any of these kind of kits before. You almost know exactly where everything goes. If this one looks cool to you, definitely check it out. And that's it for me, and I will catch you next time on another Gunpla TV review.